What's going on, y'all? So listen, um, <clears throat> I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick update, you know, let y'all know I'm okay. Um, I did the surgery on Tuesday and it went well. Girl, I, 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 I literally just woke up a little bit ago, um, trying to sit up and stuff like that as much as possible and get used to sitting back up straight, you know. But, um, I really thought, <laughs> let me tell you something. When the day came, I told y'all, I suppose I had been there at 5.30. So I was one of the first ones to get a surgery done that day. And, um, I get up there. I actually was early because I don't like to be late. I don't like to be on time. I want to be early for stuff. And the door was closed. So they was like, go around to the emergency room. That's what the sign said. Baby, I walked all the way, them couple of blocks, all the way over there. It's cold outside because it's early in the morning. I'm tired. And they telling me, well, where you need to go for your surgery, it has to be in the front where you came from. And I'm like, so they not open? Well, they don't open up until like 5, 530. I said, so you don't know the exact time? No, we don't. But, you know, this ain't where we can help you at. I said, so wait a minute. I'm going to have to sit outside for all this time. <clears throat> And, um, you know, that really pissed me off early in the morning. And I just thought, like, shit was going to go downhill from there. I was like, I got my ride on time. I got there on time. And now we get here and, you know, my nerves not bad yet. But this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. But by the time I got back around the block, it was open enough so that we can sit in the lobby, you know, and um, around 530, I was able to register. And, you know, they took me right there into the back and everything went smoothly. Um, <clears throat> you know, the nurses coming in, you know, no problems getting the IV in, no problems, you know, doing all the vitals and stuff like that. You know, the nurse, the anesthesiologist, the surgical nurse coming in there the surgeon coming in there checking up and making sure everything is okay do i have any questions you know because this is my first surgery that i had as an adult i had two other surgeries when i was a child at four and ten years old on my eyes because one of my eyes and the other one it had a little bit of muscle tone in there but it didn't have enough and then the other one had no muscle tone at all so basically what they had to do was when i was like four ten years old they, I have a scar on my thigh where um, they went in and took some of the muscle from my thigh and put it in my eye. So now, you know, even now, I don't even think my eyelids closed all the way. But, you know, that's why they look the way that they look. And if you look closely, you see the little scarring up there, you know. But that was when I was four and six years old. I mean, four and ten years old. Um, but we got this done. And... <laughs> I, I remember starting getting nervous just a little bit, just a little bit when the surgical nurse, the surgeon came in there and was asking questions or whatever. And then the surgical nurse came in and put those little pads on my um chest or whatever um, <clears throat> and did all of that. I was like, girl, let me go to the bathroom first, okay? Before you hook up anything, let me go to the bathroom. And so then they wheeled me back there to the OR and girl... They put that oxygen mask on me, you know, had me scoot over to the table, put that oxygen mask on me. First of all, I had to adjust it myself because, listen, they put it on my nose like this. And I was like, girl, let, hold on. You want me to breathe in the oxygen? I can't breathe because it's all up on my nose. So I had to adjust it like that. Um, and next thing I know, <laughs> next thing I know, I am in recovery. Listen, they was waking me up. It was like I was going in and out. I could feel myself going in and out, but I really wasn't woke. And I couldn't tell whether or not I was up or not. But I do distinctly remember me saying, uh-uh, uh-uh. We got to do the surgery. We got to do the surgery. And they was like, no, girl, we in recovery, okay? But the surgery took like an hour, a little over an hour. Um, I was back in recovery probably like 20 minutes to 9 o'clock that morning stayed in recovery to like 10 15 and then went back to where they had me the outpatient um outpatient patients at you know what i'm saying where they housed me at when i first got in there and was waiting but 
I was so glad that everything went well. They was able to do it laparoscopically. So I have four incisions, two, uh, three on my stomach and one in my belly button where they took the gallbladder out. Um, if they had to go in there and they saw something wrong, they probably would have had to do it the old way when they put a big incision and had to open me up. And thank God they didn't have to do that because if they did, if they would have had to do that, I would have had to stay in the hospital and be admitted um, for at least a day or two so that they can wash the wound because it's a bigger wound. And um, they didn't have to do that. And, you know, um, <clears throat> I've been on medication, but so far the pain is very tolerable. You know, having twinges here and there. <clears throat> the worst of it all was the fact that, you know, I had a breathing tube in my uh, throat. So, when the anesthesia wore off, I could barely speak when I woke up the next day, which was yesterday. I could barely speak. I'm still trying to get my voice back. Um, as you can hear, it's going in and out. I've just been drinking tea and all that stuff. All of this, my upper, everything was just on fire. It was hurting every time, you know, because I guess of the breathing tube and all the stuff that was going on. But um, that's feeling a little bit better. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have somewhat better of a voice because um, I do want to at least get a video out. Um, I've been sleeping on and off. Okay, that's basically all I've been doing is sleeping on and off. Um, I couldn't wash up for two days. That annoyed me um, because I'm a bitch that take a shower every day. Okay, then I couldn't do that. I was finally able to do that today. Um and take my wound, uh, the dressings off my wounds and um, wash those or whatever. And when I tell you, it just looked like a little slit. It looked like little slits, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like you got scratched or whatever. But um, other than that, I've been good. Um, haven't really been eating much. Um, I only ate a bowl of soup today. And I ate a pot pie yesterday. And I ate a soup when I came out of surgery probably around four o'clock or something so I've been eating on and off little stuff and I was waiting to you know actually go to the bathroom I was a little concerned but because of the anesthesia it kind of you know slows up your bowels and stuff like that but I will say that I was able to do that I've noticed probably too much information but everything is running regular okay and y'all ain't lying <clears throat> excuse me when y'all say that shit was going to run through. Okay, no pun intended. Y'all didn't, y'all went line when y'all say it was just going to run through. But, um, because ever since it started flowing, baby, it's flowing. Okay? But, um, um, I will say this. I had an issue and I had a feeling that something was wrong that was going on. And I went and got it checked. I should have got it checked earlier. Then I did because I literally just thought it was gas that was just being trapped up in my body or whatever, you know. But come to find out, I did have a serious issue, which was my gallbladder. And I will tell you this, to have that irritation from before November last year, before November last year, probably like October, uh, September, around that time, to now, it is such a relief. Because all the way up until the day of the actual surgery, I was having irritation. I was having irritation on Tuesday. You know, it was bothering me so bad. And I noticed right away when I came down and was able to realize that I don't feel that pain no more. I don't feel that irritation no more. So I was like, oh, they did their job, their job, the relief. So, you know, basically... If you feel something ain't right, speak up on it. And given that, you know, we black people, especially and black women, you know, we have to be constantly on it because sometimes they don't take our pain serious, okay? And that's what I had to do because I had told my doctor about it. And, you know, he was basically kind of nonchalant about it just a little bit. But, you know, the other doctor that I have, you know, she went on ahead and got the ball rolling with this, you know, so you do have to ask around, you do have to get second opinions and all that stuff. And that was the best option for me. And so far, I am not regretting it because I feel so much better in that sense. Now it's just the healing process. Um, like I said, I get my voice back and um, 
hopefully by Saturday or tomorrow I'll be on here to get y'all at least one video um, because I do feel my energy coming back up and um, hopefully everything will be cool but I just want to put this out here to update you guys and to thank you guys for all the prayers all the well wishes and to let y'all know I'm healing up nicely I'm okay your girl made it and I'll be back on the tube soon all right thank y'all so much I love y'all I really do peace